Chicken. Come on in here, Bunch. We got some things to talk about. Hey, John, haven't you taught the Bunch how to listen to the catcher? Oh, I never had any problems when I was telling them what to do. But obviously, they need a little refresher course. Well, first of all, when Chicken bunted the ball up the third baseline, I told Andy to field it. But I got to the ball first. Yes, but listen, I am the general, and the play's in front of me. And I told Andy to field it. He had the easier throw, but no, you had to throw the ball away. Now, remember, I am the quarterback. Everything's in front of me. So come on, Bunch, you got to listen to me. If you'd have listened to me, this mess would have never happened. All right, let me show you what I mean, OK? All right, here goes the Bunch. All right, I tell the third baseman to get the ball. And no, naturally, Louie picks up the ball. So what does he do? He throws the ball away, way out there, OK? So what happens now? All right, Sherman picks up the ball, all right? I covered behind first base. I told Sherman to hit the cutoff man at second base. Well, no, what does he do? He throws the ball way over here. Way over here, over the third baseman's head. And I can't, Sammy's backing up, okay? And look at what happens then. I tell him to hit third base. No, so what does he do? He throws it to second base. Well, the chicken's still standing on third base. So what does he do? I see, we gotta play at home plate. What happens? No, you didn't listen to the Kendrick. They throw it over my head. And what the heck did I do? I try to make the play, and the chicken gets it inside the park home run. If you'd have only listened to the catcher, that's all you needed to do. Hit the cutoff, man. I told you it was a third baseman's ball. That's all you needed to do, and it would have never happened. All right, Bunch? Some of the things you see on a baseball field make you want to scream. And when you're a catcher, they make you want to climb a wall. Dizzy. I'm so dizzy. My head is spinning. Like a whirlpool, it never ends. And it's you, girl, making it spin. You're making me dizzy. Exactly how I felt And I held you close to me And kissed you And my heart began to melt Girl, you've got control of me Cause I'm so dizzy I can't see I need to call a doctor For some help Nightmares. Yeah, I gotta admit, since I'm not catching as much, I sleep a lot better. But one thing I'm gonna always do, and that's listen to my catcher. Hey, John, let's see how well your bunch listens to commands. All right. Okay, you three be the catchers, you two be the base runners, and the rest of you guys go to your position, okay? All right, All right here we go. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna roll a few bunts. Now remember to shout out your commands. I mean yell loud, okay? And you are the field generals, all right? So you got to let the fielders know where to throw the ball, OK? All right, yell out now. Be the general. Here we go. Chicken, 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 chicken! Oh, now, Sammy, listen. You could have made that play yourself. Don't forget about yourself. When you come back out there from behind the plate, you got to be quick. And if you think you can take it yourself, go for it. Yeah, but when I catch, I've got all that equipment on, and I just can't get there fast enough. Well, the trick is to be quick out of the box. But the main thing is to get a good jump on the ball. Oh, chicken, not like that. Watch. If there's a bunt down the third baseline, there's two correct ways of doing it. 
You circle the ball, you go around the ball, you pick up the runner and the first baseman, and you try to throw right to the bag. Then there's another way of doing it, where you plant, pivot, and whirl and throw. And pick up the first baseman, that's very, very important, and not just whirl around and throw. Pivot and whirl method, Gary. So do I, Rick, but sometimes I like to use the circle around the ball to be quick. All right, you guys, come on. Now, we right. let's do some plays ourselves, all right? Yeah, okay, right. let's get into position yeah. now, all right? Okay, get down. Here we go. Get on that ball. Okay, now that's okay, Sam, but the thing that you want to be able to do is when you come out there and circle around that ball and make the pivot, make sure that you Give a good stance there, all right? Stand and then throw. Pick up the base down there, too, okay? You just don't want to get the ball out here at World of Fire. You want to see where you're throwing it, okay? Okay, here we go. Ready? Over here. All right, come on, Jess. Jump on it, just like a cat. Throw him out. Hey, John, you haven't lost yes, a touch. You know that? You haven't lost a touch. Well, I want you to have it. You know you haven't. Gary? Get out there now, Rick. Throw him out. Come on, buddy. You got time? All right! Hey, how am I doing? Nice going! All right. Hey, John, you're getting better over there, buddy. Even though you are going to play third base this year. OK, you all set, Jess? Here we go. No, 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 chicken. The only thing foul around here is you. Come on, bud. After lunch, we decided to work on the suicide squeeze play, and I was glad to sacrifice the chicken. Chicken, chicken, be brave. Hold your beak up high. Take it like a bird. And remember, don't look back. Something may be gaining on you. <laughs> OK, now, Sherman. Now, all you got to do is take a pitch, and this chicken's goose is cooked. Well, it's against my better judgment, but I guess the chicken's always fair game. All right. Chicken, in the cutthroat world of the suicide squeeze, you're just another statistic. Johnny, he's really hurt. Did you have to tag him so hard? Oh, he's just hamming it up, egging you on. He's not hurt. All I made was a simple tag play. I know how to play tag, but what's a tag play? Well, that's when the runner is coming into the base, and you have to tag him out with the ball. Any time a runner is not forced by the rules, to a specific base, the fielder has to take the ball either in his glove or in his hand and tag the runner. Chicken, if you're going to lie down, why don't you lie down over here where we can use you? Just put your feet down close to the bag, all right? And put your, your beak and uh, goggle eyes out there towards the other way, all right? First thing we have to do is we have to catch the ball. We have to be in position to make the tag. Let's take, for example, that we have a perfect throw. It comes right in here. We have plenty of time to make the tag. We put the glove down here with the ball in it, and as he slides in, we tag his feet and we pull it out. We pull it out for two reasons. First of all, we don't want to get spiked. The second one is we don't want him kicking that ball out of our glove, OK? So we put the ball deep in the web of the glove, make sure we've got it tight, make the tag, and see no matter what he does after <laughs> you do that, you've got it, OK? Now, if the ball is not thrown in a perfect position, then you might have to make what we call a sweep tag. All right, a sweep tag is when we go over here and catch the ball, and we come back and make the play like this. We sweep. It's just like you do a broom. Tag him right there. And you see where I tagged him? That's important. Make sure you always tag him from the knees down, never up here in this position. If you get in that position, now his feet are extended. And the umpire may say, well, you tagged him too high. He got his feet in before you got there. Seems simple, right? Yeah. Wrong. Wrong.
There are all kinds of situations involving tag play, and hardly a game goes by without a close one. Here the Red Sox Jim Rice tries for third base. Notice that the tag is made way up by his knee instead of on his foot. This is a common mistake, tagging too high, and it can cost you many an out. You should always try to tag the runner on the foot. Of course, there are a lot of situations that strictly call for improvisation. A few things to remember. Guard the base. Hold onto that ball and be sure that your glove touches the runner. Even if you have to do it behind your back. ready what's going on down there all right we're ready too yeah, right yeah, okay yeah. here we go one two three all right, all right. let's, go let's do it let's go i got the winning team oh, i got great wheels out there i got the winning team hey my guys got great wheels we'll just show you okay okay chicken when i say go get a ball and wing it in here we're going to make the tag down here now after you runners come in they've made their tags then we're going to switch positions okay the team that makes the most tags wins all right. OK, you ready down let's there? Go now. All right, here All we right. go. Come on, now. Let's go, guys. Go. Come on, Sherman. Come on. Come on, buddy. Slide in there. You're out. Oh, hey, come on. All right. Go, go. Tag one. All right, I'll get you. All right, go. Come on, Billy. Come on, Billy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're out. Oh, wow. Nice job. Save. He was oh, safe. Save. Nice. He was safe. No, huh? Safe. <laughs> oh, you sound like the chicken. Get out of here. Oh, come on, now. Go. Come on, Michelle. Oh. Hey, you weren't supposed to tackle her, Sam. What's the deal? There you go, Michelle. I got you. Three for three. Nice going, gang. All right, back out the way. Go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. Hey, what's the deal? Switch over. All right, we got to do the same thing now, guys. Come on. Get a helmet. Come on. Come on. Switch it around. Here we go. Four tags. Come on now, Chick, you gotta do the same for us now. Come on. They got four. Hey. Yeah, what is it? What is that? Come on now, we gotta get four tags also. All right. Go. That's one out. Thank you very much. Hey, sure. All right, nice going. All right. Ready? Go. Come on. Catch it, catch it, put it on him! Go! 